One of the most beautiful apparitions visible in the night sky is the gray glowing orb known as our moon. The moon has captivated the imaginations of astronomers and astrologers since time immemorial. The moon cycle through the sky is also critically significant for the Jewish calendar and forms the basis for establishing when the yearly holidays are celebrated. How long does it take for the moon to complete its synodic cycle around the Earth? We all know that the moon renews approximately once a month, but figuring out the exact amount of time between each lunar cycle can be quite tricky. To aid with this task, when Neil Armstrong visited the moon in 1965, he left behind a small array of mirrors facing the Earth. Using the most advanced laser technology available, NASA scientists were able to shoot laser beams at this tiny mirror and measure the returning photons. They then used this data in connection with atomic measuring instruments to precisely quantify the length of time between each lunar revolution. With this data, NASA concluded that the Moon revolves around the Earth one time every 29.530588 days. Astonishingly, over 2,000 years ago, our sages calculated the length of the lunar cycle and came up with an almost identical number. I am in possession of a sacred tradition from the house of my father's father. The monthly lunar cycle takes no less than 29 and a half days plus two-thirds of an hour plus 73 of the 1080 subsections of an hour. If one combines these numbers, it is determined that this tradition put the lunar cycle at 29.53059 days every month. This number is within one-sixth millionth of a day from the figure that NASA recorded with the use of cutting-edge technology. This tiny differential is not due to lack of precision on the part of the sages, but rather due to the inherent limitation in the numerical system used to record time as compared to scientific measurement. How is it possible for the sages to have measured the lunar cycle with such unerring precision? Many astronomers over the ages have tried, but none of their numbers are even close to those possessed by the house of Rabbi Gamliel. One can only conclude that our sages had accesses to a divine source of knowledge.